All right, welcome back to another episode of the Bubby Boy. modulation master experiment today where we mix some colors and so we're going to be dealing with the three primary colors to show how they impact different colors all right so it tells us the first thing we need to do is get four measuring cups okay let's get these measuring cups Now it tells us that we need to fill them up with water. With how many milliliters, Aiden? A hundred. A hundred milliliters. Okay, so we're going to pour our water here and do a hundred milliliters top. all the way to the top. Okay. All right, so we got our four cups of water poured now. All right, now we have to take four more measuring cups and fill those with 50 milliliters of water. All right, so let's fill these up halfway. All right, all right. In the first three cups, we're gonna pour our primary colors in there. So go ahead, Aiden, and drop in some red, yellow, and blue. Start with blue because that's my favorite color. All right. Drop in some blue. Just give it a couple drops there. Three. All right. So we got three there, and then drop it in the red. How about I go ahead and do the yellow? I'll do the red. The yellow here. There and stir those up for us. Good job. Nice. Nice. Okay, so we're getting our water. Let's add a little red to that to get it, darken it up a little bit. And darken up the yellow a little bit more. Yeah. All right. Drop a couple more drops in there. Big drop. Big squirt. Okay, that might be as red as it gets. All right, and then we've got our yellow here. Stir this yellow up for me just a little more. Oh, boy. All right, so now we've got to pour different mixtures in each cup that we pour. All right, so let's take our first cup here and pour... Red and yellow. We're going to pour red and yellow, okay? So be very careful when you get the red. And pour maybe 25 milliliters, which is... Take you up about halfway. You got it. Alright. Actually, let's pour a little more there. Alright, there we go. Now we're going to add our yellow. Stir it up. Okay, and then red water and blue water in the second cup. Red water and blue water. I got it again. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, that looks more like a purple. More purple. This purple or no? Can we get this orange more on? Oh, what? Alright, there you go. It's green! Yeah, that one is more of a green. It looks very good. All Actually, right. light. All right, so now what we're going to do is pour all three of those primary colors in one cup and see what we get. So I'm going to pour a little bit of yellow here. I'm going to pour a little bit. Blue. 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 No, you can do more blue than that. Let me see. Pour the blue. All right, now pour the red. 
that. That's almost like a clear. Clear black. Pretty. Weird. Interesting. So all three colors together gave us a clear cup. Like a Yeah, it's pretty transparent. All right, so yeah, this one is turning more of a grayish black now that it's all mixed up together. Let's see what these random colors make. All right, let's try these out. So we'll pour a little bit of the green. Cleared that one out as well. So it looks like when you mix them all together, it clears out. So let's break down the science of color modulation. So basically it's saying red, yellow, and blue are primary colors. And these three colors can be mixed different ways to make any color that we want. So that's what this experiment was all about, showing you that these three colors can make any color that we want. And we can play around and mix different colors and see what kind of weird color we can get. All right, let's mix some in the beaker here. I'm going to try. Hold on, just from the primary. So mix, let's try doing just a dab of blue. And then more red, put a lot of, a good, a good amount of red. All right, and then some yellow. All right, stir it up. And it still makes like a silver color. Yeah, that made like a dark black or purplish. So we could mix these blue, green, this blue, red, and yellow any kind of way and get every color in the spectrum. Oh. Very interesting. Didn't know that. What do you say we, just for the fun of it, doesn't make any sense, what do you say we mix a little bit of everything in one beaker and see what kind of weird color we get? Yeah. All right, so here you go. Pour me a little red. Here? Yeah. Pour me some blue. All right, pour me some yellow. So that, that gave us like a purplish. Pour me some yellow. All right, pour me some of that in there. Come this green. Okay. Some of that purple. Oh, watch yourself. And some of that orange. And some of this. And some of the black. <laughs> All right. Let's see what color we get from this. That made like a almost like a teal, right? Or yeah. a bluish? What do you think, Aiden? A teal. All right, cool. So we can mix these a million ways, but we'll get every color in the spectrum. You want to a secret formula? If you mix all these colors, what are you going to create? It's a secret formula that could explode. Mix them all, just pour everything in there, pour everything we got in there to finish this off. This isn't part of the experiment, but we're gonna just mix it all up together, see what it does. The secret formula is blue. Alright. Now we need a drop. Okay. Now we pour more of the water. Okay. And make 
All right, we mixed everything together, just playing around, and we got that. this color, which is like a very dark blue, like a dark navy blue. All that All right, so we have now. Aiden is just uh, mixing everything. I need a vial. He has taken all the colors, and he has. Become a mad scientist. You just got food coloring and going crazy now. <laughs> <laughs> mad scientist. Alright. Okay, I just made a dark greenness. So now you got dark green. I got extra sample to add to my Dawn soap. He's become a mad scientist, ladies and gentlemen. He's mixing everything in the lab. And trying to make Getting it. Getting every color you can think of. Yeah. That one looks like a grayish. I need red sample. Now mix the red with Keep your it. secret sample there. My green sample? Yeah, mix it in there. It's kind of dark orange now. Hold it up. Let me see what color you got from mixing that. Oh. I need more green sample. Mix the green in. Coming up with all kind of weird colors here. Now it's turned into a brown. Make okay. sure you stir it up. Dawn soap plus red equals pink. Just giving you a pinkish. Yeah, pink is. We can get so many colors from red, blue, and yellow. The mad scientist, ladies and gentlemen. He's losing his mind in here. He's going crazy in here. Somebody get him out the lab. He's turned into the nutty professor. He's a color mix master. So at this point, we are just playing with all the colors, mixing and mixing, and just seeing what different colors we can come with. The mad scientist. Now we've got some weird colors brewing. I'm letting this blue sit and make like a dark vortex in that brown. I see that brown color you got there. I'm making a dark vortex. It looks like a black hole kind of. If you look at it, it looks like... You've created a black hole of colors, dude. And it's taking off of my brown real fast. Around it, so I think it's a real black hole, people. Black hole alert. All right, so what did you learn in this experiment, mixing all these colors together? You can make every color from the primary colors, red, blue, yellow. Okay, awesome. Like this. Yeah. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that experiment on color modulation. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos, okay? See you guys next time. All right. Bye. See ya. Catch you guys next time.